praise the lord greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our lord jesus christ today's devotion is from second chronicles chapter 22 the topic is satan always fails we all know that king ahab was the worst king the trouble caused by association with the house of ahab now reached to the third generation we read in chapter 22 here hahasaya the youngest son of jehoram is king now after his father's death ahasaya was the descendant of david his mother athaliah ahab's wife gave him counsel to do wickedly we read in verse 7 god destroyed him god appointed jehu a military commander of northern kingdom prophet anointed him to be the king according to god's word to bring judgment to the house of ahab to purge the evil from ahab's house now two kings one chosen by man and one by god jehu was not a godly man but still god used him to accomplish his plan and purpose he slew ahasaya and all sons of ahasaya's brothers Ahasaya's brothers were already killed by Ahasaya himself thus utterly wiped away the whole family of the worst king Ahab in retaliation Athaliah killed all her grandsons to stop the royal lineage of David here lots of killing going on lots of bloodshed Satan very active against God here. But we read that Ahasaya's daughter hid his youngest son Joash in the temple. She was the wife of a priest. We read in 2 Kings chapter 8 through 11. Satan's plan to stop the messianic line failed. Satan never wins and he will never. Satan is still at work to destroy the work of the Lord. He did it at the birth of Jesus when King Herod wanted to kill baby Jesus. We don't need to be afraid of Satan. He will never have any victory. Our sovereign God protects his own according to his plan. to fulfill his purposes satan can never stop what god has already purposed and planned praise the lord amen